guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about some new casting news that was announced the other day. Also, we have some more theories to go over in this video in regards to potential spin-offs. And both topics completely link together, so that's why I'm pairing them together. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so bang on a week ago, on December 10th, there was an announcement for The Flash in terms of a new casting. Now, this person who was cast is Mika Abdullah, and I could totally be botching her name, so I really do apologize if she ends up watching this video or if any of you guys know how to properly pronounce her name. But she's a relatively new actress. She's in a project called Project MC2, and it seems this is her biggest calling card, so it's nice to see someone relatively new coming into The Flash. And so she has been cast in the series, obviously on The Flash, and this is coming from the rap, so I'll leave the link in the description below to this article, as Tinya Wizzo, aka Apparition, or also sometimes known as Satin Girl. Now, she isn't just any random character, in fact, most of the time she is a Legion of Superheroes member. And I will reveal some more details about her specific character later in the video, but for now, let's just go ahead and jump into this casting news. So The Flash is getting a new metahuman. Mika is going to be joining the Arava CW series for season 8, and Abdullah will play Tinya Wizzo, a character from DC Comics, best known as Apparition, a member of Legion of Superheroes, although no details were immediately available if slash when Tinya will get a superhero name on the show. And on The Flash, she'll make her debut after Iris West Allen, editor of CC Citizen Media, starts looking into her. Here's the character description that they were given. So after years of successfully hiding in plain sight, reluctant teenager who is a meta, Tinya Wizzo's life is turned upside down when she becomes the subject of Iris West Allen's latest investigation for CC Citizen Media. Soon, Tinya is thrust into a dangerous world she never knew existed, one that will change her life forever. Now, we don't know exactly if this character is going to be around and the actor is going to be around for a very long time, because in this report there is no specific wording in regards to is she a regular, is she a recurring character. I'm going to say more likely than not, she will probably be a recurring character who will show up in like multiple episodes throughout the season. And it seems like with them doing a big casting announcement, especially considering like she's not the biggest celebrity out there, I would presume it is a relatively meaty role for her, you know, in the upcoming episodes. Like, I don't know exactly what episode she will debut in, but we'll be seeing lots of her, it seems. And so the character description obviously gives us some insight, it doesn't actually mention anything to do with the Legion of Superheroes, and it pretty much confirms that they're retconning some of the origin story in terms of her just being, you know, from the present day, and Iris is going to stumble across her, she's going to be doing an investigation into her, and probably something into, you know, her being a meta, and why she's been hiding in plain sight all this time, is there something that she's been up to, and you know, that's going to be the subject of Iris's investigation, and I feel like, because she is a hero in the comics, she's going to end up, you know, teaming up with Iris, and that's going to be her link to Team Flash, so I think there's definitely potential for her to be, you know, a proper member of Team Flash in the future, considering the caliber of character they're introducing here. So, what do you guys think about that? Do you think it is at all possible? I think it is. And so she's going to be thrust into a dangerous world she never knew existed, and this one will change her life forever. And so I'm pretty sure that is, you know, the world of like underground meta human activities and like, you know, criminal enterprises. That would be my best guess because a lot of these, you know, reluctant meta humans do get swept up into these activities if they fall in with the wrong people. And, you know, since she's a teenager, I think she's going to be pretty malleable in terms of like, you know, maybe someone's making her use her powers and do different things and that's what spikes Iris's attention because obviously Iris isn't just gonna like randomly look into a random person she's only just first heard of. No, she's going to be hooking onto something very interesting 
and that will lead her to Tinya in the show. So let's talk a bit about the character. So in the comics, obviously there is the other version of the character of Tinya, who is in fact Saturn Girl, but in this case it seems because the Raps report actually mentions Apparition, she is the post-zero hour version of the character. So in the comics, the way that this version of the character ends up being with the Legion of Superheroes is Basically, Tinya is the daughter of an ambassador to the United Planets. Obviously, the United Planets are a big thing in the Legion comics. If you guys read it, you know what I'm talking about. But basically, what happens at one point during this comic run, Tinya is able to save Saturn Girl's life while they're on the search for some culprits. And she tagged along with Cosmic Boy and Livewire as well. And so, after saving Saturn Girl's life, she is literally immediately inducted into the team because of her great efforts and you know her powers as well and so obviously she's been in the comics a lot in the past so there is so much more to her character than just the brief description i gave you and about her joining the legion however let's go over some powers and abilities that tinya has and she might debut in the show considering that she's a meta so she has the power of phasing, so she has the ability to pass through solid matter by passing her atoms through the spaces between the atoms of objects which she was moving. Basically, she has similar powers to Martian Manhunter, she can literally phase through anything. Or I guess you could say it's similar to Barry, although that's completely different because he can, you know, phase because he goes so fast and he vibrates the cells. But in the case of this, definitely more like Martian Manhunter. And so this is one of her biggest abilities. But she also has another ability called Cargite Duplication, which basically means she's able to split into three. And it gets all weird in the comics, but she can duplicate, which is weird. However, she also has like a standard ability just like most superheroes. She is great with hand-to-hand -hand combat and that pretty much does it for her powers in this version of the character. So are you excited to see Tinya actually show up in the Flash on the Flash this season? I think it's a really cool idea to introduce more Legion characters. As you know, I am especially rooting for a Legion spin-off show off of Supergirl. So this is just another person, another candidate for why this show should happen. Like if she recurs here, and maybe we want to see more of it, why not make a Legion show, bring back Nia, bring back Brainy, and introduce a bunch of other Legion members, it would be great. And so that's actually what we're going to move on to next as we head towards the end of this video. So I was sent this great question from Twitter username to Mel the Dark Hero, and the question was this, are you going to do a video talking on the possible spin-off idea of the Arrowverse Legacies? So like a show. So the kids of the heroes and villains from the Arrowverse. So they include Nora Dark, Nora West Allen, Bart West Allen, and Mia Queen. So I wanted to bring this up because I thought I could link this to my idea of a Legion spin-off show because I think they kind of go into one because as you know in the comics, Nora West Allen is in fact XS like she is on the show and she's a Legion of Superheroes character. So she is their speedster in the future. So if they did a Legion show, you would have Nora. You would probably have Bart as well. And you know, the idea of the Arrowverse Legacy show definitely ties into that because the whole idea of the Legion of Superheroes is based on Supergirl's legacy. And so they're going to have characters who basically look up to these past heroes in the past just like the kids of the heroes and villains look up to their fathers or their mothers and they try and be like them in a way. So, you know, you have Bart trying to be like Barry and Mia trying to be like Oliver in their own different ways. But in regards to the Legion of Superheroes spin-off show, I really do hope it happens. If I got to choose the roster, like I said, I would choose Nora West Allen, I would have Bart Allen, I would also choose Nia and Brainy and maybe I would include Alex if Kyla wanted to come into the show. That would be great, but then I would add on maybe Tinya, like we've discussed in this video, and maybe like one or two more characters max, because obviously you don't want to overcrowd the show, even though the Legion of Superheroes obviously has a lot of members. You don't need to show them at that point. You can show them as they're establishing. However, they could run into a plot hole if they started the show right at the start because technically mon was there and I don't know if Chris would, would like to come back and do a whole show so maybe they would have to do it at a different point but 
basically what I'm trying to get at is they would have to have a smaller team than, you know, the hundreds of members like in the comics. So let's just quickly discuss the Arrowverse Legacies show. So who would we have? What would your dream roster be? Let me know in the comments below. But I like the idea of Nora Dark. Obviously, that would be more on the villain side. And Nora and Bart West Allen, of course, on the hero side. Mia Queen, of course, on the hero side. Now, obviously, I would love to include, like, Kid Flash. That would be great. Again, I don't think Kid Flash will return for the show. Keenan Lonsdale, that is. However, I think it would be a great idea if we did. And maybe post-Titans ending, you would bring on a couple of those characters from the show. Especially Nightwing would be great. If not, go for one of the Robins. And there are constantly new and different characters that are being introduced in all these shows who are legacy versions of, you know, older characters. So why not bring them into one big team-up show. I think that would be great and I think that could be a great idea for the future of the Arrowverse. Obviously this is all speculation as of right now so this is nothing concrete apart from the Tinya casting on the Flash so it's very exciting to see Legion of Superheroes characters actually show up on a show that isn't Supergirl and obviously we've had XS and XS is going to show up in the next couple of episodes so I would presume maybe there is some sort of link between Tinya an excess or potentially they build a relationship that somehow leads them to both teaming up together and becoming Legion of Superheroes members in the future because you have to remember as of right now this version of Nora that we know she's not a Legion of Superheroes member like she is in the comics but we've kind of been all presuming at one point in the future she's going to say bye bye to whatever she's doing and she's going to go even further or she's going to establish maybe with Monel the Legion of Superheroes and that's her legacy. So that pretty much does it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the video. Also subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos. Also you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video but for now Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.